Leading Ladies, an African podcast on historical women leaders. The assumption in our past has been women never played a role in initiating and influencing the mass movements which led to the independence of a free and democratic Malawi. Meet the freedom fighter and political activist, Lomatinda Rose Chivambo. Rose Chivambo was born in the Kafukule Malumbo Ziba village to Aaron Ziba and Elizabeth Nyahalawa of the Ngoni tribe on 8th September 1928. Rose began her primary school education in Kafukule and later transferred to Ekwendeni boarding mission where she met and married her husband Edwin Chirambo. At the time, Europeans were forcibly recruiting men for labor in the South African mines and removing Africans from areas they thought best for themselves, to settle or to farm. Rose Chivambo decided women needed to mobilize and put an end to these practices. This marked the beginning of Rose Chivambo's lifelong commitment to civic and political activism. In 1952, at the age of 24, Rose traveled widely and convinced women to organize a meeting through which they created a constitution and registered the Women's League with the district commissioner. In 1954, Rose was elected treasurer of the Blantyre branch of the Nyasaland African Congress, NAC, under the presidency general of Mr. T.D.T. Banda. The NAC was a body fighting against the Federation of Nyasaland and Rhodesia. She held this position until 1957. She was also appointed as a member of the Central Executive Committee of the Congress. In March 1959, the colonial government declared a state of emergency and Rose was arrested alongside Vera Chirwa, Dr. Kamuzubanda, and other freedom fighters because of their roles in the NAC. Rose was arrested a day after giving birth to her child and suffered terribly during her year in prison. After her release, she stood on and won the Mzimba South Parliamentary seat in the 1963 elections. She became the first female cabinet minister, holding the position of deputy minister of local government in Dr. Kamuzu Banda's government. As a member of parliament and cabinet minister, Rose faced discrimination from men who felt women should not be involved in such political affairs. Her response to such discrimination was loud and vocal. She stood up to the challenge and criticized the double standard in the political arena. In her words, she said, I do not dabble in appeasement. Speaking our mind is not being disrespectful. Malawian tradition has that flaw and it affects women a lot. I believe that nobody should hesitate to speak what they feel. When Dr. Kamuzubanda's rule became increasingly dictatorial, Rose stood up and fought Dr. Banda's authoritarian tendencies and the single party rule. A cabinet crisis rocked the country in September 1964. Dr. Banda dismissed Rose Chivambo from the cabinet together with Kanyama Chiume, Oton Chirwa, Yatuta Chisiza, Willie Chokani, and Augustine Wanausi, who were voluntarily joined by Henry Masao Kochipembere. They were all accused for plotting against Dr. Banda. After some of her co-accused were humiliated and killed, Chivambo and her husband fled to Zambia in 1967, where they lived in exile for 28 years. During this time, her husband passed away. Even while in exile, her heart and mind remained focused on how she could improve the lives of her country women and men in Malawi. In May 1994, Malawi held a multi-party general election and Dr. Kamuzu Banda was ousted from power. Rose Chivambo returned to Malawi to re-establish her home in Mzuzu. There, she continued her 
active role as a civic leader and mobilizer and founded the Toiwirane Self-Help Initiative. The organization focused on reducing HIV infections and mitigating the impacts of HIV and AIDS on the population of the Mzimba district and the Mzuzu city. Today, it remains an indigenous NGO based at Mzimba Boma, undertaking interventions in environment, health, education, women empowerment, and the rights of children. In 2009, President Bingu Amtarika honored Rose Chibambo by naming a street in Mzuzu City after her and by having her face on the country's 200 kwacha banknote. Women have played important roles in contributing to the establishment of Malawi as an independent and democratic state. <laughs>